and it's hello from me. As you can see, mittens is a real big part of my life. There are a number of ladies who are big in my life. Mittens, Diana Ross, and a couple of people I'm going to speak about later. But also I must give thanks to an important person in my life who means everything to me, my husband. Anyway, those other women. Diana Ross? No, I'm not going to talk about her today. Maybe another day. But almost 40 years ago, I started dealing in antiques and I specialised in Art Deco. Clarice Cliff is a big name in Art Deco and her rather, and her rather garish designs achieved huge prices although not personally my taste. Also in Art Deco was Susie Cooper. Here is Susie Cooper looking rather stylish in the 1920s or 30s. She designed some impressive pieces, often one-off pieces like this ginger jar. She did studio pottery, which you can see on the shelf behind me, top shelf that is. And on the second shelf you can see some pieces made of bon china. She designed these for Wedgwood and I will talk you through these now. Firstly, we have a 12 cm high urn vase with a rather nice background colour and the pattern is called flower motif. It's not very common, so I was delighted when I found this. Next in line, we have a more common pattern called Glen Mist. This is probably the pattern that you see most commonly, and it appears on teaware, coffeeware, dinnerware. As you can see, very tasteful, quite simple, beautifully drawn. I think this is probably my favourite in my collection. This one is slightly over 12 centimetres and I love the matte glaze. It's almost golden sandy brown and the flowers, which are camellias, are beautifully painted on this too. The largest piece I have is about 18 centimetres. It's a uh, Ash moon pattern and again lovely colours. If you look at the detail, let me zoom in. Look how detailed and fine. And on the back, I presume that's a goat. Again, beautifully done. And lastly, this one is again 12 centimetres, uh, just a vase for one flower. The design is called Corn Poppy, a very popular pattern from the 1960s. It was available in vases, dinnerware, teaware, coffeeware, and was extremely popular, which I can understand because of its bright pattern. Very appealing. Next time I might go back and look at the studio pottery that she designed, like these up here. Not all of these are Susie Cooper, but most of them are. Going back to my favourite design, and for me and Susie Cooper, I say bye bye.